trouble uh, I don't know um, I think we should just try it and then you think what kind of I mean been here before all I can do is really like call the cops on us and the cops are gonna come it's still like a little there's just a trail I mean it was always like a four by four trail so even if they come it's not gonna be I know how to explain myself you know what I'm saying yeah just just say we we didn't know so we didn't know. We didn't know. You going? Yeah. Start this some beat. Oh, I didn't want to spit on camera. I <laughs> got a banjo. I just spit on this on beat. It's crack. Three old Billy's out loud back here. Another vlog today. We up in the K20 boy. Listen, man, bro, Law and I, we want to do some mud. It's been raining like a some dick. Raining cats and dogs the past week, man. And we finally got some time to go mud. It's nice today. It's beautiful. Look at them blue skies, boy. Look at them blue skies. Now look at these blue eyes. Dream. Ooh. So we got this mud hole that, uh, well, we've been before and we actually filmed it and this happened last time. the swamp and see this is now see you used to be able to go into this it's like a neighborhood uh with a four by four trail kind of behind it it always was like a go-kart freaking go-kart it was like a dune buggy dirt bike four-wheeler track back in the day but now there's like a residential neighborhood being built all on top of it and you know you're not really supposed to go back there it's private property now but i don't really give a fuck because i want to go mud and you know what i'm saying <laughs> so we're gonna go down there. We're gonna see what happens. See, I wanted to take the K5. Only problem is I ain't got no plates on this son of a bitch, and it's a little bit of a drive over there. Actually, I don't even think I have plates on the K20. I have plates for it. I just don't think I have them on. Nope. Oh shit. Uh. Well, bro, I'll follow behind me in the gosh dang bourbon. What do you think about that, boy? Need the bourbon anyway. It's got the winch just in case the son of a bitch does get stuck. <laughs> ah! But the reason I want to take the K20 is because. I've never taken it there before. I haven't taken it there and I didn't, there was that one hole that we kept getting stuck in. I want to get revenge, man. And it might even be freaking higher. I don't know because uh, it's been raining pretty hard the past week. So it's in monsoon season, which means mud time, baby. <laughs> this freaking goes but uh k20's already running hot i can hear that freaking antifreeze boiling i don't hear the electric fan going so maybe there's some problem with that but uh hopefully everything's looking pretty dry right now but it has been raining the past couple days so we're gonna go down to this little spot over here which is what i like to call the swamp and uh see what we can do but uh, i think it's time to lock the hubs get this thing at four low and we'll get her done so a couple things that uh already on the drive over here i don't drive the k20 that much obviously on the road i don't drive it that much because it's super painful but uh one thing i one of the biggest things i need to upgrade for sure for this thing is the seats inside right now it's got a leather bench seat right stock from the 85 k10s k20s this is actually a k10 cab it's got a k10 vin number on it it's a k20 frame three quarter ton axles everything like that so 
I need to get some, some suspension 4x4 seats in there for sure. I think I'm gonna order some of them tonight, install videos on those. Also, probably new shocks. I'm a big fan of King suspension. A lot of people run King suspension in their pre-runner trucks and stuff like that. If you guys are into like pre-runner Baja trucks and stuff like that. But this thing obviously has a six inch lift on it, which is nice for mudding to have that extra room. I think Fox already makes some some decent shocks that are for lift kits and stuff so maybe i'll go with them definitely need some better shocks and stuff because we are sitting on these freaking hard ass brand new gosh dang leaf springs so they still pretty tough but uh i also still do not have the inner fender wells for this son of a bitch so we might uh, get the engine bay a little bit freaking muddy again but and shit, i didn't bring a toe strap hopefully we don't break down <laughs> we're gonna have to go back <laughs> we do have the winch but just in case I do break this some bitch, we need to go home. We need a tow strap. Unless we just run that winch. What do you think? Should we run the winch all the way through the bottom of the of the uh, <laughs> the bourbon to here? It might be the first. And then one thing as well is getting this thing all geared up. Now we didn't switch the gears or anything in the K20, so there's still the stock gears. Mm -hmm. Obviously, about 37s on this thing. We did put a posi in the rear, so um, that'll help us a little bit, but we do need to upgrade these gears for sure, so that's another thing. But uh, it should do pretty good, I think, so let's go down and test her out. Quite a bit of a little hill here. The swamp is down here. Let's take a look. It's over there. There's water. Dude, it's pretty steep, boy. I mean, imagine ending up in there. Dang, dude. Well, I think there is another hill over here down need some new brakes on that thing too drum brakes all around not fun all right dude here is the freaking swamp ladies and gentlemen dude so this is the easy trail right here super soft though as you can see very soft stuff this is the swamp that we got stuck in pretty bad last time it looks shallower than this but this stuff just quicksand man so we'll see what we can do Oh, damn, there's a bumper over there. Some of these bumpers over there, dude. We're gonna have to move that. Good thing I saw it. Hell. I guess I'm just gonna have to go through this side first. Give it a little test run and then move that bumper. Somebody must have lost that bitch and got stuck, boy. see him walking away of course i was like made all this noise coming in and i'm like walking back up to the truck and this dude's like what's up i'm like hey what's up man he's like oh nothing what about you i was like nothing man what you doing out here he's like oh i'm just walking these power lines i was like oh yeah what for he's like oh just working my life away i was like all right well have a good day <laughs> so i thought we was in trouble for a second some dude he was I thought he was carrying like a gosh dang uh, uh, air vent or something for his nose or whatever, some oxygen tank, but it was just work shit, so we get to go. All right, guess what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go through this spot here. You're gonna see how she goes, and then I'm gonna pull that bumper off the other side. We'll take a good look at that. I reckon we'll uh, see what we can do about the swamp. <sighs> wasn't a good first run i think what happened was it freaking died out right when the water freaking came up in the damn engine bay which is not good obviously so if i can get it started again uh best thing would be to go slow and try not to get the freaking splash all the water up in there because I mean, the filter's dry but i don't know what the hell happened freaking electric fans not turning on as well <sighs> freaking truck problems dude Luckily, we did bring the suburban just in case, but uh, check this out, dude. There's this freaking bumper over here somebody lost. That hole was actually a lot deeper than it was last year. I actually sunk down quite a bit. Usually last year was harder ground, but uh, yeah, definitely not now. Probably because it's been raining so much. Whoa, slick. Somebody lost a freaking bumper. <clears throat> oh, even got a little X and O on there. 
kiss hug, boy. No hug, no kiss. Hug, hug. Kiss, kiss. Hug, hug. Big kiss. Little hug. Kiss, kiss. Little kiss. Whew, well, see if this son bitch will turn back over. <laughs> swap this thing well this is obviously the deeper hole now i sunk down pretty good inside of it that one's actually not even deep at all so it switched from last year see if we can hit her one more time a little slower put her in four or low i wasn't even in four wheel drive last time i just put it in a neutral so see how this shit goes drive is not staying in four wheel drive it's just uh every time i hit some type of bump it just clicks right out well, that's not good <laughs> steering <laughs> freaking tore that son of a bitch up that last time damn well boy man this right here was a test to see if the k20 can make it through the swamp in which none of the vehicles could last year obviously why this is a test is because now we know what's wrong with the k20 and what we need to fix on the son of a bitch first of all my electric fan ain't running so it's running super freaking hot look dude motherfucking spy plane freaking spy plane flying on us right now dude god dang man i'm nervous being out here man cops i just feel like the cops are gonna show up any minute well a good thing if the cops do show up they're gonna have to walk all the way down because them little crown vicks can't fit through here boy no 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 but yeah power steering went out i gotta go check out that son of a bitch man what the hell hear it boiling dude oh, hot hot oh damn Steering gear is all, it's all bent up in there. Look at down here in the steering gear. I don't know if you can see that. Some bitch is freaking bent to shit. Power steering looks like it's still connected and everything, but it might have something to do with the steering gear and why it's not working. Electric fan not turning on. Probably has something to do with water hitting it. Probably water in the solenoid or something. I don't know. No, that's not good. I reckon the K20 has its day, man. Shit. Always breaking something when you try to have fun, dude. Just the way she goes, bruh. Kobe! Every time I come out here with this thing, something's up with the steering and the power steering, dude. So you can see it actually right here. Like it's all like bent up in there and crap. The steering shaft just looks all fucking catty wampus. I don't know what I did there. Definitely some upgrades that need to be had, but we'll try to make it up this hill, see if we can even get home. Might be interesting. Stay tubed. <laughs> Damn door too. It needs to be shimmed on the bottom, it's hitting real bad. <laughs> Take a look under there. Just pissing coolant right now. I don't know why the fan ain't working. Probably because water got in the solenoid or something. It's uh, running super hot. I had it idling though. The power steering felt like it came back a little bit. I don't know if it's just low on fluid or what's going on. I'm gonna let it cool down and then we'll see if we can get out of here. Of course, I didn't bring any extra though. So hopefully it doesn't all come out. That'd be bad. <sighs> So yeah, the most important thing I need to get done, obviously, is the inner fender wells, which I've been talking about forever, but now I've just been, uh, just haven't freaking done it. So I need something to cover the, the engine with, obviously. Maybe freaking add a skid plate or something under there, I don't know. Uh, it's 
all just freaking exposed as hell. Definitely not good, but yeah. Fuck. Whew. Well, when we first left, it was running super hot and then I can't hear my fan, but it was running super hot and then it started to cool down. It's probably just because we were driving, but oh, I was nervous. We got home though. So now it's just trying to figure out all these problems. Guys, just give me crap in the comments. You guys know every freaking K20 video. I'm like, hey man, I'm getting inner fender wells, man. I'm going to get some shit to protect the freaking engine, dude. And I never do. So give me shit in the comments and tell me to get off my ass and get some of that shit. Oh. All right, y'all. So, man, lots of freaking stuff to do. Today was a little bit of a test just to remind me of everything that I need to do to the K20, you know? But, hey, man, it's always good to test her out. It's always fun to hit a little bit of mud, you know what I'm saying? If you guys like the mud and bitches, make sure to smash that like button, boy. But, hey, come here and check this out. You guys know I got my bow fishing boat here. I like to bow fish and stuff like that. If you guys want to see more bow fishing videos, just let me know in the comments below. But check this out, dude. So I was having some problems with the old generator, which is uh, over there, that yellow top right there. First of all, it came with the boat and the fuel tank, all the welds on that generator, just sitting right here with it tightened down and everything, broke in the first week of having it, just being on the highway. Not even any dirt roads or going crazy or going mudding with a gosh dang trailer. I ain't that crazy boy. Maybe one vigil will do that. But everything broke on it. So what I decided to do, and the generator was never put it, pushing enough power to run all the freaking LED lights in the front, right? So what me and my buddy Kyle ended up doing this weekend was we took the generator out. So it's not running off a generator right now. I bought a new generator. It's a Honda 2200. The lights are a DC current, obviously, that came through right here. What we did is we took this off. This is where the fuel tank is. We rewired the generator from, go, or rewired, rewired the lights going from the generator to actually going straight to the batteries. We got another marine battery. We hooked them to in sequence. Uh, this one and this one here. We got an off to a blue top as you can see. Come on, get it, get, get down in here, boy. Just just tweak the freaking camera over, man. Come on. So we hooked these two batteries in sequence. The lights are going off of uh, the positive on this one and the negative on this one. So now these batteries are running in sequence. Now, you guys might be saying that's not gonna last long because the trolling motor always also goes off those two batteries. But here's the deal. We ordered a converter, which actually you don't see uh, very many converters out there. There's a company out there called PowerMax. They make like specific bow fishing converters. So what it does is it's gonna run, we're gonna run wires off the battery going into the converter and the converter is gonna be DC to AC and then the AC 110 plug will go into the new generator and then bam, we have solid running lights. We can freaking just keep filling up the generator. Everything will keep it freaking running for the whole gosh dang day. So finally got that figured out. I don't know if you guys even give a shit or not, but uh, that charges batteries back up. But as far as the trucks go, let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right, so here's the dealio. I'm not gonna make this long. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now. You guys know the K20, it's like my baby, man. I've had that truck longer than I've had any other vehicle here, right? Longer than the bourbon. Bought it when I was in Kentucky. I brought it here with me. We did the lift, we put the motor in, all this stuff. We did a whole bunch of stuff to it. So to me, making that thing the ultimate four by four truck is my goal. There's a lot of stuff we gotta do to it, man. There's a lot of stuff. But if that's a build that you guys would like to see, obviously we already got the uh, 383 stroker in it. It's cammed, you know, the motor and everything, excuse me, the engine, you know, is good for right now and everything, but there's still a lot of things around that that need to be done. If that's something you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments below. Whether you guys wanna see it or not, I'm still gonna be ordering parts for it. Like I actually just ordered PRP racing seats for that son bitch. They're actually suspension seats. So when I get those son bitches in a couple weeks cause they're custom made, we'll throw those in there and I'll, and I'll show you guys. But another thing I wanna do the K22, let me know because I know we've been talking about doing it with the Duramax. I'm thinking about wrapping the son bitch. The son bitch is already pretty pretty with the uh, with the black and everything. But dude, I've got a gosh dang good idea for that son bitch, man. I think you guys are gonna dig it too. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. But uh, I reckon that's gonna do it for me guys tomorrow i believe we're getting new wheels and tires on the duramax i ordered them up they are going to be here tomorrow we're going to get them uh the wheels are kind of special i haven't showed you guys them but i know a lot of you guys were asking me to get the wheels that we got so those come in tomorrow we're going to go and get them mounted up and stuff like that so there'll be a video on that stay tuned if you guys enjoy this channel make sure to hit subscribe smash that thumbs up button and always leave me a comment below and let me know how much of an idiot i am Always appreciate it. All right, Drill Billies. I reckon we'll see you on the dev side. My name's Outlaw, and I'm out, y'all. 25. Eight.
366 no matter what you're doing. <sighs> Live to three. Holler. I thought I was gonna smack you. <laughs>